Today we're going to be in the Cedar Park High School feeder pattern at Deer Creek Elementary School, at Cedar Park Middle School, and then ending the day at Cedar Park High School. I'm so pumped and excited to listen to these kids. Tell me what you guys think about technology. Do you think we use computers and iPads and things like that too much or too little? I think, I think it's like perfectly fine because like we do ice station and stuff. I'm in the middle so when it comes to doing that. Like I, I feel like we don't use it all the time, but then again, yeah, like in second grade, we use it for every time at computer center with ice station and reading books on the internet. There's, yeah. All right, so tell me what is the thing, the one thing that you love most about Cedar Park Middle School? Um, for me, it's friends because when I was in elementary school, I had like this one group of friends I would always hang out with. And then when I came here, you just like come, become friends with like everybody. Teachers. Tell us about that, Kate. I like my teachers because they're really nice. They treat us like we're not five. Um, <laughs> our teachers want us to like create our own path for ourselves. We, they're trying to tell us we should figure out what we want to do ourselves. We don't, you don't, you shouldn't do what everybody else thinks you should do. I mean, within reason. Um, <laughs> That's I, wise advice. <laughs> I really like how um, everyone is persuaded to go their own, to go on their own path, like to do their own thing. I think the just like opportunity to grow is like it's such an emphasized ability here for so many of the students is like the partnership between student and teacher, like there's such an opportunity for you to follow whatever you're passionate about, whether that's, you know, something in the art, something in athletics or just academics. Coming from an athlete's perspective, the long history of a winning culture, but not only just in sports, but in academics as well. Like just to be like, be able to go to Dallas or somewhere and someone see me wearing a Letterman jacket and like, oh, you go to Cedar Park? I'm like, yes, they're like, oh yeah, football team's really good and your basketball team and all of this, like, yeah, like people know who we are and it's really, it's a really cool feeling. Like we're just, it's like, we're so much bigger than just like a high school, like we're known, like. Tell me about the, if there's a flip side to that. So achieving at this level in everything, right? And this culture of winning and those things, does it have a, a negative side to it? Is there a, a certain amount of stress or pressure that you feel? Uh, yeah, it gets to a level, and I think that's what um, personally hurt us at State, is the pressure probably got to us. The kind of dark underbelly that comes with achieving at such a high level is the maintenance of it. You know, mm -hmm. there's always work behind that. You know, there's practices, there's rehearsals, there's studying. You have to do it to be able to achieve consistently at that level. And whether it be that you need to seek help within this campus or outside of it, um, it does exist. And I think that that's the main thing to remember. Leander ISD is enormous and there's lots of students with different conflicts that they're facing, not only in their programs, but individually. And so having that understanding of there's a lot of problems that are always happening within the district. There's never gonna be a time where everything is perfect um, is something that's very valuable to have. And I'm very thankful that I'm a part of a district that is very open to that and knowing that there are a lot of um, faults. But there's also a lot of accomplishments uh, out of Leonor ISD, which is something to be very proud of. So that's what I'm thankful for. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much for your time yeah. today. I really appreciate it. You're gonna be like world famous one day. <laughs> so when you're out there doing great things, don't forget about us little people, okay? Come back and say hi and say, I remember when we had that conversation in the library that day. We're writing a story right now of um, a fractured fairy tale. Uh -huh. And I'm doing the three little pickles and the big bad mayonnaise. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Yeah. And I want to see your science fiction work. So you can give me a writing prompt or something. Oh. Or maybe I can write you something. Oh, that yeah, sounds like a great idea. Sometimes you think Gina? it's so boring and so hard, but actually it turns out it, you're really good at it. It can be so boring sometimes. And sometimes you have to work hard, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And some, yeah. Uh-huh. And, and even when we like things, sometimes we have to kind of grind through the hard part, yeah. right? Sometimes you just have to grind through like, like a hard piece of cheese. <laughs> yeah, you have to grind through <laughs> it as hard as you can.